I think. Is it a sucker or a trout? The mouth looks like a sucker. That's a sucker. This is the creek. I didn't know there were suckers down in this creek. Wow. I'm half tempted to see if I can catch him. I used to smoke them all the time. Where is he? That's a big, big fish. Down here in this creek, that would be clean. That's about uh, six foot deep right there. Yeah, maybe five. Wow. I did not know they were up in this creek. He's just sitting there. If I had a worm, I'd have him. Morning. This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some lunch. It's uh, pretty late to start fishing right now. It's after 10 o'clock in the morning. So trying to get a bass now is pretty late, but I've got my Banggood fishing rod and reel combo that I love so much. This is the telescopic rod and reel combo and my hula hopper. Together, this is a killer fish setup. Let's see if I can get some lunch. People often ask me why I wear a hat. Well, I think if this focuses on my face, you can see the mask of bugs around my head. And if you wear a hat, they congregate over the top of the hat and not in your eyeballs. So they're, while they're quite annoying swarming around your head with a hat on, they're not disturbing me as horribly as they would be without it. Hope you can see those bugs. They're really bad. But uh yeah you can't you can't be out here without a hat. It'll drive you totally insane. Well I'm still trying to get lunch. Either I catch something or I go hungry. There's some huge panfish down in there. I might have to change my lure. If I go back and get worms, I'll be hooked up. I just saw a bass circling around, so maybe it's not too late after all. We'll see. I sure would like to have a bass for lunch. I was thinking about grilling. Guess it's just going to be vegetables. It's been raining a lot though, so that usually washes a lot of food in for them. Makes them not so hungry. Never had much luck after a lot of rain. Whoops. Oh, yeah, they're not really hungry. 
I missed him. He hit so light I didn't even know he was on at first. Usually I'm used to fishing this pond, they hit so hard you don't have to set the hook. Today they're being really finicky. Usually they slam it. Oh, I don't know how they're doing that today. I don't know what they're doing. I wonder if they have to sharpen my hooks. They are not swallowing that today. They're just lightly lipping it. I've noticed when fishing for bass, depending on where you are, you have to develop a technique for that area. And I have a technique for this area, which isn't working today. It's weird. But you got to get the feel for the lake. Today it's off. Hope that shows up on camera. I'm gonna eat lunch today. I hope this is showing up on camera. Oh, there's a big, big, big bass chasing it. Oh, oh, that was a huge bass chasing it. That's not a bad bass, but there was a giant monster after my lure. Bit on it in his mouth. Well, that's lunch anyway. I'm gonna have to eat him. He's bleeding. Oh, he's bleeding pretty bad. This is awkward. I got my pliers. I forgot I got my Leatherman on me. Oh, there was a giant bass. Made this look like a dwarf trying to take it out of his mouth. Here's my fish. Lunch. Done for today. Well, it's definitely a good rod and reel combo. I really like it. And it's keeping me fed. It's very convenient for travel stays in my car and goes with me everywhere now. I like it. How's that for a fine meal for Saturday afternoon? Grilled fish and grilled zucchini fresh out of the garden and I got some tomatoes inside to go with that. All out of the garden, all fresh. This is all fresh harvested today. Now that's the life right there. That's nice.